Not even a year ago, Jersey Shore star Vinny Guadagnino forked out $3.4 million to score a beautiful Hollywood Hills home, but he seems to have flipped it on the market again. The Mediterranean home spans about 2,700 square feet of space and offers up high-tech upgrades throughout as well as a seamless indoor-outdoor flow. It seems the reality star has been enjoying the fruits of his labor considering he's also said to have purchased a home back in New Jersey as well as one down the street for his beloved mom. We'll check out what we know about Vinny's real estate, we even found the listing. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Vinny Guadagnino is a reality TV personality as you probably know, best known for being a main cast member on the popular MTV series Jersey Shore. He appeared in all six seasons of the show from 2009 to 2012 and afterwards Vinny began taking acting classes, scoring some small guest roles on TV. In 2018 Vinny reunited with most of the original J Shore cast meets for the reboot show Jersey Shore Family Vacation, which has aired about four seasons so far. Considering all of Vinny's success from the show, as well as other endeavors, he's amassed an estimated net worth of about $3 million or more. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out where Jersey Shore star Vinny Guadagnino calls home. If you like this video, be sure to check out other recent drops on his castmates such as Snooki and Jaywa, which we'll link to at the end. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Just last year, it seemed that Vinny put his reality TV earnings to good use when he purchased a secluded abode in the Hollywood Hills. Located in the West Hollywood area of Los Angeles, high up in the hills, Vinny's home cost him over $3.4 million and boasted views of Hollywood and Century City. He moved in shortly before the fourth season of Jersey Shore Family Vacation premiered in November. His contemporary villa spans 2,685 square feet inside with an open plan layout, three bedrooms and 2.5 baths. Reportedly, Vinny wanted the home so badly he went a bit over the asking price to purchase, so it may come as a surprise that he's changed his mind and already flipped it back on the market not even a year later for $3.85 million and it's now up for sale. The property was owned by Suicide Squad star Joel Kinnaman who sold the modest home after almost one and a half years in the market at a loss in 2017 for $2.2 million. This buyer who was an investor thoroughly updated and upgraded the interiors before selling to Vinny which is noticeable. Built in 1977, the home is now so modern you would think it's brand new boasting all the high tech comforts imaginable. Vinny's house is set right on the street so privacy isn't one of the major selling points, however it is tucked away in a cul-de-sac in an upscale neighborhood so there shouldn't be anything to worry about. The two story residence features a Mediterranean style exterior on the front, but then the back of the house has more modern window fixtures. The home seems to be made of stucco clay roof tiles and there's an arched porch entry guiding into the contemporary interior. Inside, Vinny's home offers a small entrance hall and there are pale wood floors, cotton white walls and high tech bonuses throughout. One of these impressive upgrades is the home automation system which controls everything from the lighting, heating, cooling and audio visual systems. We can see there's a main great room that offers a minimalistic kitchen with clean lines combined with a living area. The living area isn't huge but offers a mounted flat screen TV, plush blue couches, a sleek fireplace set into the wall and full walls of windows to expand the space visually. The kitchen on the other hand is designed tastefully with sleek grey cabinets disguising some of the appliances like the fridge as well as a marble topped island in the middle and bar style seating with room for five. The open layout makes the space ideal for entertaining. The entire space offers a 24 foot expanse of metal trimmed glass panels that fold right open to transition into the backyard. Once you open these up, it's sure the space will seem massive. Not to mention there's optimal indoor outdoor flow to take advantage of the LA weather. Vinny has posted himself enjoying this space hanging out at his kitchen island in a birthday photo of himself. The Staten Island native had the windows to the pool and yard open and caption the pic. I've never gotten myself a birthday gift, so for my Jesus year I'm blessed and thankful to have closed on another home. 
referring to this spot, of course. He added, I'm officially bi-coastal Vinny, to new beginnings, following dreams, and chasing goals. Your second life begins when you realize you only have one. Happy B-Day me. We can also see the self-proclaimed Keto Guido has been cooking up a storm in his modern kitchen, making his own low-carb meals, and sharing photos on Instagram. In his first picture of a home-cooked meal at his then new crib, Vinny mentioned how important it was for him to have a home where he could grill whenever he pleased. And he definitely has that here. Vinny said, Cooked my first Keto Guido meal in the new LA crib tonight. What sold me on this house the most was the indoor outdoor flow so that I can run from the grill to the kitchen effortlessly and the ability to grill year round. When he's not cooking, Vinny can enjoy other spaces throughout the home like his master retreat. His master bedroom is super spacious and boasts wraparound views thanks to the walls of floor to ceiling windows. Thankfully, the room also has blackout curtains to maintain the star's privacy and for a good night's sleep. The room boasts hardwood floors, a slender balcony to take in more views, and a fitted walk-in closet where Vinny can display all his designer duds. Then his ensuite bath has gold toned fixtures, a deep soaking tub, and spacious marble shower behind glass with another stunning window. Off of the bathroom is one of the guest bedrooms currently used as a storage space, but could also be turned into an office or family bedroom. Another more modest guest room still has spacious vibes, offering a vaulted ceiling and multiple windows, while the two guest bedrooms share another marble wall bathroom. Moving out to the grounds of Vinny's home, while the yard isn't very big, it's quite flat for a hillside, allowing for a great layout. The banks of glass in the home open to reveal a terrace and square saltwater plunge pool to make the most of the space. This pool could even be a party-sized spa should Vinny want to entertain some of his Jay Shore castmates. Elsewhere, his yard offers a grilling station, fire pit, sun loungers on the grassy lawn, and an al fresco dining area. The yard is surrounded by a nearly invisible glass railing that boasts unobstructed views of the Sunset Plaza and Hollywood Hills below, while on a clear day, you can see all the way to the ocean. Now, we know Vinny wasn't always living in total LA luxury like this. When we were first introduced to him on Jersey Shore, he was reportedly living with his mom. After the show's success, as you might have guessed, Vinny moved out and finally purchased his first home. Although they don't live together anymore, his mom still apparently lives down the street from his East Coast property. It's said that Vinny maintains a home on Staten Island, and while we didn't get to see much of it on Jersey Shore Family Vacation from the little they did show, his abode seems spacious yet cozy and laid back. And who remembers the notorious Shore House where it all started? Before Vinny was buying up multi-million dollar properties, we got to know him while living at that famous cottage on the Jersey Shore with his castmates. From listing materials, we can see that the place is still standing and looks basically the same as when we saw Vinny and the Jay Shore crew living there way back when. All of the smush rooms seem to be intact as well. Although things seemed to be all good for Vinny in the early days of the show, he revealed that that wasn't always the case. He said, you can't read a book, you can't turn on the TV. I mean, back in the day, we were closed off from the whole world. At the particular time when we were filming, we had just filmed for like three months straight my body and my brain just couldn't take it anymore. Honestly, I don't know if I could handle that either. Now we've taken a look at where Jersey Shore star Vinny Guadagnino calls home, including his modern abode in Hollywood. He seems to have flipped right back on the market. After checking out his stunning villa, what did you guys think? What were your favorite features in the place? I think mine were definitely the walls of glass and the indoor outdoor flow, the plunge pool, and of course, the amazing views of Los Angeles. Be sure to tell me your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.